Hey guys, I'm Mr. Cole, uh, one of the orchestra teachers, and it's great to have a chance to be able to see you virtually through the power of YouTube. Uh, this is our weekly orchestra video, and you'll be getting a video like this each week that will help you know what you should be practicing at home. How many times should you practice in orchestra? Well, if you're in hybrid, here's what I would like you to do. You practice once at school with me in person, and you practice once at home with this video. If you are a Spud Academy student, I'd like you to practice once with me on the video and once by yourself at home. So our goal is always to practice two times a week for about five, 10, 15 minutes a time. Please don't practice any more than that. Okay, so re repeat after me. Here's our first goal in the orchestra room. Repeat after me. The better you look, the better you play. Say that. The better you look, the better you play. So take a look at some of the pictures that are popping up on the screen now. Here's what perfect posture looks like. Your feet are flat on the floor. Your back is straight. Your head is up. If you play the cello, look where their peg is right behind their ear. I'm zooming in now on their in pin. That in pin goes about a foot in front of your foot. And the top part of the cello kind of rests right on your sternum. Violin and viola is your right hand and your right hand's on your right knee and your fiddle's on your left knee. So can everyone show me perfect rest position right now? Bam, wham. Back is straight, head is up, slouch a little bit, look like they do in Green Bay. All right, perfect posture, bam, wham, boom. Get your back straight, your head up. That's the, here's the deal, guys. It will be a few days, few weeks before we start sounding like a pro. But we can look like a professional now, right? You look like a pro, you sound like a pro. You look poor, you sound poor. All right. So that's a, really one of our first goals of the year. The better you look, the better you play. Now let's, let's talk about a guitar position. So violin and violas, take a look at this. Your fiddle is gonna go up in the air just like this, rotate it at a 45 degree angle, and then slide it right on your belly. So your fiddle's up like this, rotate it at a 45 degree angle, and set it just like this. So violin and viola, here's guitar position. Then you make a thumb, Hold it right up to the sky, and then you take these four fingers and you rest them right under the fingerboard. Now, and it will be a little low, just like this. Your thumb is up in the air, violin and violas, and we're gonna say this. Strum with your thumb. Say it, strum with your thumb. So your hand is still here. Here's your right hand. Do that right now, just let it rip, go. Good tone, let it rip, let it rip. Strum with your thumb. Rest position, bam, wham. Instrument on your left knee, your hand is on your right knee. All right, cello players, obviously I'm, I have a violin now, but the, it's the same idea with you. <clears throat> You're going to make a letter L, just like this with your right hand. Make a letter L. The thumb goes right here, and you're going to pizzicato with your first finger. So take a look at some of the pictures that I'm showing you right now. Your right thumb goes on your fingerboard, and you're going to pluck with your first finger like this. All right. So <clears throat> let's find where our A and D string is. Violin and violas go to guitar position. If you play viola, put your thumb, your pizzicato thumb on the string that's closest to the ground. That's your A string. If you play violin, find the string second from your ground. That's your A string. Cello players, you're going to find, if you're sitting like this, you're going to find the string that's closest to the left, and that is your A. All right, let's all pluck that one together. You got your finger on it. Violin and violas, you use your right thumb. Cellos, you use your right pointer finger. And let's pluck that A two times. Ready with me? Ready, pluck two A's and go. Do it again, nice and aggressive and go. A, A. What's the name of that note, everyone? Say A. All right, now let's go to our D. Our D is the string right above it if you play violin and viola and right next door if you play the cello. Now that's our D, let's pluck two Ds. Ready, pluck two Ds and go. D, D, back to A and pluck two As. A, A, rest position, bam, wham. Now, do we want you know, I mean, you can tell we, we, we love Moorhead. We're proud to be a spud. It's a great day to be a spud. Uh, in Moorhead, our orchestra, we are known for having hefty tone. 
Here's wimpy tone. Just listen once. Here's wimpy tone. Here's I, I have a violin. Here's two Ds. Listen to it. It's very wimpy. Now here's two hefty Ds. Listen to it. So here's wimpy. Listen. Here's hefty. Can we all do that right now? Go put your go to guitar position. Cellos make an L, and you're going to pluck with your pointer finger. Put it on your D. We're going to be on our D. Let's do it very wimpy, like they do in Edina. Here we go. Wimpy Ds. Ready? Pluck to wimpy Ds. Now hefty day. We're from more head. Go to your A. Wimpy A. Wimpy A. Hefty A and head bang and. And I don't know about, well, we talk about it all the time in school in person. When you're plucking, you're always kind of nodding your head, feeling the beat. That's just kind of the more head way. It's, it's what we do. It's how we roll. All right, excuse me. I got to drink some coffee. Happy, uh, happy day. All right, so let's review what we know so far. The better you look, the better you play. And if you have a question about posture, posture, look at the pictures that I've sent, uh, the better you look, the better you play. If you have your book, you can look on the first two pages. It has some great pictures on what we want to look like as a Moorhead Spud Orchestra team member. All right, so our next goal of the day is to start uh, looking at our music. So can you please open in your book to page number four? And if you don't have page four, I've included it in this email at the bottom. So violin and viola, I have page four and five down there so, so you can have it, so you can be working on it at home as well. Okay, we have a rule in the orchestra room. Step number one is we point and say. Rule number two, we pluck and say. What's rule one? Say point and say. Rule two, pluck and say. So everyone take your pointer finger in your right hand, and I want you to point to song number four. Point to song number four, and your pointer finger is going to touch the first note. We read music like we do a, a book. We go left to right. And I like this book a lot. Do you see how they wrote the letter D in the note so you know what the note is? So how many, how many Ds do you have to start? Say three Ds. And then there's that squiggly thing. That squiggly thing is a rest. And when we come to a rest, we go like this. We go, Chht. Everyone do that together. Ready? Go, Chht. Okay. Now, we're going to say this whole song. So everyone take your pointer finger, point to song number four, and follow along. Point and say... Ready, point, and say, let's go. D, D, D. Say the word shh. A, 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 shh. D, D, A, A, we're just pointing. D, D, D. Beautiful. So that was step one. What do we do? Point and say. Step number two. Now we get to pluck. Okay, now we get to pluck. So everyone go to guitar position if you play violin and viola. Cello players, go to rest up. Uh, 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 take your left or right hand up, make a letter L. The thumb goes on the side, and you're going to pluck with your pointer finger. Repeat after me. We use the rest to look and plan ahead. Say that. We use the rests to look and plan ahead. All right, here we go. We're going to pluck number four and say it at the same time. Your eyes are looking right at the music. Here we go. Ready, pluck, and say number four. Go. D, 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 sh, A, 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 sh. Pluck and say, please. D, D, rock to your A, A, back to your D, D, D. Beautiful. Beautiful. Be my teacher right now. I'm going to pluck two A's. Tell me what's wrong with my tone. Listen to it. What's wrong? Too wimpy. Okay, we want to be hefty. Listen to my A's. That's what we want. Okay. Um, <clears throat> at our next lesson, we're going to talk about how to use our fingers. Today, uh, all we're doing is plucking open strings. Eventually, my friends, we will be adding fingers to our left hand. Now, that's not today but we're getting ready for it, right? We're, we're always getting ready for what's next, you know? It's Friday, I'm getting ready for Saturday. And it's uh, Monday and I'm getting ready for Tuesday. And it's pregame and I'm getting ready for the game. We're always getting ready for what's coming next. So I'm gonna help you get ready for what we're doing on our next video at our next lesson. If you play the cello, so I'll stand like this, cellos, uh, here's what we do. 
We say this, we're doing the do. Watch this. You, you, you pretend you're holding a can of pop. So go out like this with your left hand, pretend you're holding a can of pop, just like this. Hold it out. Do you see that? I'll bring up my coffee cup, but look at it. It fits right in there like that. Do you see that? It's just like a can of pop. It's just like a can of pop. And what I want you to realize is that your fingers are separated. Do you see that? It's in your left hand and just practice that. So tonight at supper, crack open a can of Mountain Dew and say, mama, I'm practicing me cello, okay? I'm giving you permission to at least hold a pop can. Maybe your mom and dad don't want you to drink pop, but whatever. Okay, violin and viola, here's what we're gonna do. Take your left hand and go like this. Left hand, just like this. Put your middle two fingers together. Go like this and put your middle two fingers together. Say half step, whole step. Half step, whole step, got it? Now watch what I do with me fingernails, watch this. Bam! Do you see that? I'll do it close to the camera. We're like this, then you're gonna go like this. Bam! Now look at them, do you see how they're boxy? It makes a box and that's what we're getting ready for. Say this, say flat, boxy, flat, boxy. And that's what we want, got it? Get ready for that. The rest of us, take your right hand. Now in a few weeks, several weeks actually, we're gonna start using our bowl. Not yet, but we're getting ready for this motion. Take your left hand right now and kind of put it on your upper right bicep right over here and just go like this. This part, this arm is, this part of your arm is not going to move. Just go like this and say, ooh, I like how me elbow bends. Do that. Say it. Go, ooh, I like how me elbow bends. That's getting us ready to have the world's greatest bow stroke by bending it what? Ooh, I like how me elbow bends. Okay. Let's go now to song number eight. You're at home by yourself. What do you do first? Do you pluck and say or point and say? Point and say. So let's go to song number eight. Here we go. Ready? Point to it. Finger on the paper. Song number eight. Let's go kind of fast. Look ahead. And when you come to the rest, go like this. Here we go. Point and say number eight. Ready? Point and say. Let's go. D, D, sh, sh, A, A, sh, sh, D, sh, A, sh, D, A, D, sh. Now let's do it. Pizzicato, here we go. Go to guitar position, cellos make an L. Let's pluck it, here we go. One, two, and ready and pluck it, go. D, D, sh, go to your A. A, A, say it, sh, sh. Back to your D, sh, go to your A, sh, and D, A, D. Rest position, bam, win. Okay, wonderful. So let's review our goals for the, oh, I forgot something. Guys, obviously we give you life, uh, we give you music lessons. Every now and then we give you life lessons as well. And here's today's life lesson. If you were in school, you saw this, but can you read this? This is made out of Legos, by the way. I don't know if you can see that, but it's made, can you read this right now? Kind of confusing. Does COVID ever make you confused? Me too. So it's confusing. Here's what this is all about. Sometimes you have to step back and look at it one angle at a time. Ready? Ooh, it's a great day to be a spud. Do you see that? It's a great day to be a spud. If you look at something, if you're too close to it, sometimes you have to step back and look at it one thing at a time and it comes into focus. We'll talk more about that later, but it's made out of like sloped Lego pieces. Anyway, that's the life lesson for the week. I've said this to all the students in person this week. I want to say to all of you in Spud Academy, I care more about you as students than musicians. I'm glad you're in your class. I'm glad you're in orchestra. But I want you to know that I care about you as people before you're musicians. So if you need anything, you know, if you're in person, you come to school and you forget a mask or you forget a pencil, come and find me. If you're at home and you don't understand something, email me and we'll do, we'll, I'll, I'll help you out. I promise, okay? That's what we do in Moorhead. We help one another out. We love our neighbor and we wear our seatbelt. So it's good to see you guys today. I can't wait uh, for our next lesson. If you ever have any questions, just send me an email or have your mom or dad call me or whatever. But uh, hope you have a super day. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.